First of all, because it's an actual bag rather than that thing they have that looks like a dumpling. Ooh, dumpling. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another instalment of my spring haul week. Today we are going to haul and other stories, one of my all time favourite brands. I have only really known about them for a couple of years but literally half of my wardrobe is and other stories. I do want to jump straight into this video but I will just quickly say if it's your first time here this week that I do know it's a very strange time to do a haul video but the majority of my audience wanted me to do this. I think it's a lovely slice of normality and even if you aren't able to order anything because I know we're all mostly out of work and we don't even have anywhere to wear the clothes but hopefully you can still enjoy a nice chilled out video, take your mind off things and watch me try on some lovely clothes and if you don't fancy that then you don't have to watch. <laughs> so here's the box, I always feel like I just have to show you the box. I just really like the end of the stories boxes as well because I prefer it to like ASOS and Topshop that come in like a plastic bag and everything's like squished in. This is so much nicer. Um, ooh, so a couple of the things I'm going to show you I do already have so they're not in this box so you may have spotted them on my Instagram or my other videos and don't forget that I link everything I show in my video down below in the info box as well as the outfit that I'm wearing now. So let's go. So guys, here is the first piece. You may recognize this absolutely divine dress from my Instagram. I've had it for a few weeks, although I haven't been able to wear it because it's been too cold. But I saw this in store on Regent Street and I was just like, oh my God. Honestly, this color is my new second favorite color. I know, I can't believe it because I have never liked green, but I am so obsessed with this beautiful pastel pistachio lingerie shade of green. It's so on trend and it just goes so nicely with pink. Like look at the pink and green, they just complement each other so well. It's all about those spring like ice cream pastel shades. And this dress just has so many beautiful details. It's such an incredible like satiny fabric but it has this really subtle like embossed leafy pattern on it as well that you can only really see when the light catches it um, on the satin which is really really beautiful. It has these incredible ruched sleeves that just look so so stunning. It's such a gorgeous fit with that lovely tie around the waist and then you've got that lovely peplum frill at the bottom. It's just so adorable and feminine and whimsical. I just can't get over these beautiful sleeves they're so divine they kind of like drape over your shoulders and on your arms they're so so pretty and like just the right amount of puffy like it's not too much but it still kind of makes a statement but it's very very wearable and subtle and pretty and it's just like the perfect perfect spring dress especially with pink and I did also get some shoes that I really wanted to pair with this outfit and it's these adorable little pink strappy leather sandals this style of shoe is so in it's insane every single place that you look whether it's high-end designer or high street they are all doing these like super 90s like kate moss spice girls style of shoe but i like these ones especially obviously because of the color it's so stand out it's like a kind of pinky lilac ice cream shade i just adore it and i feel like they're really wearable as well like they're not too high there's nothing too like dramatic or weird about them the heel is a little bit weird but i've seen a lot weirder oh look at it with my aspinall bag how cute do those colors go it's like pinky lilac and pistachio green oh my god I'm just finding like a whole new color palette at the moment and I'm loving it <laughs> here is the next one another one you may recognize from my Instagram and I also wore this in my video with Coco last week I've had it for a few weeks as well I got it at the same time as the green dress but again haven't had a chance to wear it because pre lockdown the weather was just so hideous but oh my gosh I love this dress so so much this is the kind of dress that I will absolutely live in once we are allowed out of the house and it's warm it's just the easiest dress to throw on and it looks so so cute it has really like subtle design details that make it look adorable but it's still really like minimalist and simple so it looks really like effortless but still super duper stylish so it's a white denim dress it has a really nice belt in the middle where you can really pull yourself in and it gives you a really lovely flattering shape it has these really nice big puffy sleeves which is another really clever design detail really really flattering because it makes you look much broader around your top half which gives you more of an hourglass shape and then you 
you've got this lovely sweetheart neckline which is really feminine and again flattering so everything about the design of this dress is designed to make you look good it does really need a necklace though I've been getting so many questions and comments about my necklace it's actually also from and other stories but it's not on the website I actually found this in store and bought it in store and then when I went to find it online it wasn't on there they do have a similar one that's like all pearls so the way I would style it would be with a pair of like brown slider mules I think will look really on trend but elegant and chic and then a little brown bag like my new Chloe one which you'll have seen in my video last week so yeah I absolutely love this dress to death I think it's an absolute must-have for spring summer you'd get so much wear out of it and this will stay in style I think for years to come it's quite a classic style so next I have this super adorable little outfit. I feel like this is a really good like spring work outfit. So maybe the skirt's a bit short depending on where you work. You could totally pair this with a midi satin skirt. Satin skirts are everywhere. They're such a big trend. It's just adding to that whole 90s look as well as the bag and the shoes. Everything 90s is coming back. It's crazy. And I'm like, I'm obviously born in the 90s. So I kind of do remember it but only as like a distant memory so to talk you through the look we first of all have this really beautiful blouse i think this is so pretty and such a wardrobe staple that if you bought this you could wear this spring summer autumn winter forever it's like a timeless classic and um, that will never go out of style and this is just a really really nice one the fabric is gorgeous it's like an off-white which i think is really nice because i think if this was pure white it may look a bit too like officey or like school shirt and of course it has this really cute little bow tie which isn't like really over the top like a big bow or like a big ruffle or flounce it's very subtle and understated but it just gives it that really pretty feminine touch so now the skirt as you can see I've gone for green again I don't love this shade of green as much as the dress I think probably because it's not as pastel I feel like this is more of like a sage green and I feel like it's quite smart but fun which is nice and it's very like feminine and flirty and cute it's satin it's shiny and I just think the color is really unusual but really pretty and very much on trend and the blouse and skirt just look so cute together and then to accessorize you may have spotted the little 90s like shoulder bag thing honestly this whole look just reminds me of like 13 going on 30 or the devil wears prada like something you would wear if you worked at a fashion magazine in like the year 2000 i honestly hated this style of bag when people started wearing it i was like oh my god what is that it's so like old school looking it's just not cool but it just shows how fickle i am when it comes to fashion and just how fickle fashion is in general because things come back around again and we turn our nose up but then before we know it we want in and then I find myself picking up this bag to show you because I think it's so darn cute I just love the color lilac is so spring it ties into all of those ice cream pastels that all just go so well together like the green and the cream and the lilac everything just tones in so nicely together but you do get the color contrast like green and purple kind of random but it works and this one is in like a really nice kind of like faux croc fabric with the little cute strap that you can just do this or you can do this and it just looks so adorable I honestly never thought I would be stood here in a green skirt with a 90s throwback bag and like the outfit so much but how many times have I said that on my channel and that is what I love about fashion it's constantly moving and changing and it's just so exciting <laughs> I don't get out much and then just to complete the 90s look even more I wanted to show you these sandals that I think would look so cute with the whole ensemble these again are just one of those like 90s strappy sandals that I just think are so cute right now they're just so easy to wear and they just look so chic and up to date like two or three years ago it was ankle strap sandals and as you know I have just worn my ankle strap sandals to absolute death and I still really love them but this is kind of more where it is at right now in terms of trend next I have this cute little like cardi top thing I paired it with the skirt because I didn't order any more bottoms and also I thought it kind of looked nice and showed you how you can wear the skirt like more casually I felt like it looked quite formal um, and like put together with the blouse but with the cardigan it just looks more relaxed and casual it's so soft and cute and cardies are a really nice thing to wear for spring they're very much in fashion at the moment and they're also nice because it can be like a little bit of a cooler temperature in spring so it's nice to wear something like this I love that little frill on the sleeve I just think that's 
that's so adorable and I love the little like stitch as well on it. It's a really lovely off-white colour and I just think it goes really nicely with the skirt because the satin is like quite glam, it's quite statement but then you really bring it down and tone it down with the casual cardigan. So I think they look really cute together and then I also picked up this bag which I thought kind of complemented the outfit really nicely. Um, it's a little leather like slouchy hobo bag. I think it's kind of supposed to give off that like Bottega vibe, you know that like weird thing that they have. I don't even know the name of the bag, that's how little interest I have in it, although I do kind of like the style, but I would never pay that kind of money for it, but this is a really nice alternative. First of all because it's an actual bag, rather than that thing they have that looks like a dumpling. Ooh, dumpling. But you still get to have a little taste of that trend without dropping all of that money and it's still a really beautifully made cute bag. It's a bit of a strange colour uh, but I do like it and I think it'll be very versatile. Like it's so neutral that you can just pair it with anything. I feel like this is a very cool bag, like I feel like a cool Instagram girl with this bag. The pose, it would be like this and then like you know that thing that everyone's doing now on Instagram which is really weird where they like bend their back leg and then have the front leg out and they're like this. And I'm like, this is very strange. So yeah, lots of spring trends to check off with this outfit. Green, satin skirt, cardigan, slouchy, like hobo style bag. So it's very much like a current up-to-date outfit, but it's super duper easy to wear. Next, I have this top and oh, how cute. It's so, so adorable. This color is amazing. It is pastel Barbie pink and it's fabulous. So it's actually like a full size top and I don't really think it's supposed to be worn tucked in but I just have to tuck everything in. My whole silhouette always has to be something cutting me in at the waist and not the hip because I do not think that is a flattering look whatsoever. So I've just tucked it into the shorts that I was wearing at the start of the video. These are my shorts and I just think it looks so so cute tucked into these shorts and like any kind of shorts that stick out or like a skater skirt it's just gonna look so so adorable. It has the exact same design as the white denim dress so all of the reasons why that dress was so flattering, the puffy shoulders, the sweetheart neckline, the wide waist belt is exactly the same on this top which is why it looks so cute especially with something like these shorts that stick out that just give you such an adorable little shape. It's a really nice like stiff structured fabric which is why those sleeves are standing up so nicely. I think it's a linen blend um, so it feels really expensive, it doesn't feel cheap and flimsy even though it's quite a cool fabric. And the colour, the colour is my life. This is just the cutest, girliest, most adorable outfit ever. Oh my god you could wear it with the shoes. Oh my god with the matching shoes I'm actually gonna faint. That is a match made in heaven, the entire ensemble. I needn't even go on but we must. And then the final piece for today is this really cool jumpsuit. So as you can see, again, this is also the same as the denim dress. I feel like And Other Stories just realized that this design was just really, really nice and just went with it and just put it in loads of their clothes, which is actually really useful as a customer as well. Because when you know something like works for you and you like it, you do want to shop more of it. And usually that's not really an option. So anyway, I really actually like this jumpsuit. I feel like it's something a bit different for me because it's quite like, masculine and work wary with obviously like the way that it's trousers but the top is still really feminine and beautiful and I feel like you can accessorize this really girly as well and get a really nice contrast so with this for example I would wear like the pink lace up sandals and one of my really feminine bags like my Chloe Drew and then it's not so like work wary anymore it's just something that's like really cool so I'll just stand on my stool so you can see the kind of length for me this is probably honestly perfect so I'm five foot eight maybe it could do with being an inch longer maybe but I'm actually like really happy with the length on me um I got this in a size 36 which I think is like an eight to ten and I actually really really like this I just think it's such a cute like chic casual look looks quite effortless I was expecting it to be like a little bit unflattering but I actually think it's the opposite I think it does have a really flattering shape and it's just something a little bit different for me like I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe but I do actually think that I would get a lot of wear out of this I really like it so guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what your favourite bits were down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join me again tomorrow for a brand new haul. Bye!